good to see you. Today we're going to look at this thing here, the cell meter 8. The cell meter 8. It's called the cell meter 8 for whatever reason. In the package, you of course get the cell meter 8 itself. You get this little doohickey here. And we'll explain what that is shortly along with this. And again, we will explain what that is shortly too. And you also get this wire here. There's one other wire you get, but we're not going to use it. So those are basically all of the pieces. What the cell meter 8 does, it'll check your cells, make sure your cells are all working and tell you what level they're at in a battery. It will also uh, test your servos if you'd like to do that. So it's a servo tester as well. And finally, the reason I got it is it is also a discharger, a lipo battery discharger. And we'll show how that works in a minute as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to test and to center a servo. So here's an old servo I've got kicking around. That's the one we're going to use. And what you do is you plug the servo into this end of the, uh, of the thing. It says servo test right on there. And you want to plug it in with the negative at this end and the signal at that end. So yellow, red, and brown in that order on there. This is just for testing the servo. And in the other end, you've got to get power to this little unit, and it's got to be 5 volts. So if you've got a 5 volt source that you could plug in there, great. What I just do is I use a regular uh, LiPo battery and an old uh, ESC that I have kicking around and it will it of course when you hook up the servo lead that comes out of the uh, ESC it's 5 volts it's the one that goes into your throttle thing usually so that's what we're going to use as our power source since it's 5 volts and we will plug that in to this end with uh, the negative at the top there and you see that has powered on our, our uh, little cell meter and to do the servo chest test, you see this button here says servo down at the bottom. We push and hold that for a minute, and there we go. The servo test is fired up. Every time we push this button, it does another, uh, 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 another one of three things that the servo tester does. And that is, it moves it back and forth through its full range from 500 up to 2500. We'll turn that off. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's we'll start her up again. The second thing you can do with it is oh, it's not cooperating. Now it's on. You can see that we can actually turn the dial from the for the full range 2500 down to 500 back up to 2500 and you'll notice between 500 and 2500 halfway is 1500 so if you push that again and push it one more time and push it again can't remember how we get it there it is no I'm having trouble getting it to do that third thing there it is there it is now centered the third thing is centers it at 1500 okay so that's how you test the sir servo you can have it go from one range to the other. There it goes, full range. We're going back and forth. You can have it center at 500, or you can put it on a manual thing where you turn this dial here on the side. There's a dial right there, and that'll allow you to test your servo from 500 to 2500. Okay, so that's the first function, servo tester. The second thing that the cell meter aid is good for is just checking uh, your cell values in your in your lipo. So I've just got a three cell uh, lipo here. It's a three cell battery. I'm going to plug it in here and notice the negative or black wire goes up to the top and then the other cells are here. Okay and that 
battery is currently at 94%. You can see what it says there, 94% it's saying. And it's 12.44 uh, total volts. If I push the middle button here, the cell button, once, it starts to go through the various cells. There, the first cell, it says 4.147. Second cell is 1.43. The third cell is 4.151. Four, one, there they are, the three cells. And it'll just continue to go through those, all three, and to go back to the total, it's that button on the end there that says mode, okay? So that's the second operation. You can check your cells, what the, what the battery voltage is, what's left in your battery. And that one's currently saying 94%. The third thing, and the main reason that I got the uh, cell meter 8, is that you can use it to discharge batteries. You get back from the field, and for some reason or other, you didn't use your last battery, so it's still got a pretty good charge in it. And for storage, you want to get it down to 3.8 volts per cell. And uh, first, we could use the checker, I guess, to see what it's at, to see if it's at any of those things. But let's go, let's move right on ahead. First, we need to plug in some things to this little doohickey here. This is where these lights plug in. They plug into the end of it here. So we will do that. We'll get that plugged in. Have I got it the right way up? Yes, I do. Sort of struggling around the, uh, struggling around, there we go, around the camera. So there are the lights. That's going to be our load. That's plugged in. We need to plug this little red wire here into the inside. And you notice when we have this facing this way within on the left and out on the right, those two things in, we plug it in here, and there is a little button that tells you where it goes, but red wire away from you. I put little marks on mine so that I remember what's red and what's black, but that's where it is. So that plugs in there, and the other end goes into this servo, where we had the servo, where we had our servo plugged in before for testing. That's where the other end of this thing goes in now, and again, when it's looking at it like this, Red wire way, black down here, and again, I marked them on here so that I would remember. Red and black. Anyway, there we go. Now, we've got that part all ready to go. The only other thing to do is we're going to plug this back in over here like we would if we were just running a test. And we are going to plug this guy in to the end of this black thing here. There we go. We're all plugged in. We're all ready to go. Got our lights ready. We got all this stuff ready. The only thing we do now is we push this discharge button. And that will start the discharging process. You'll notice these lights are lighting up. Now I'm going to eventually mount those on something, but for now I'm putting them on a plate just so that they don't start the, the whole house on fire. So this thing starts flashing green. The lights start lighting up. And you can start watching here. Start watching. Your, your percentage go down. All three lights are lit up now and they are providing a load to get the each cell down to 3.8. Now it's going to take them down to 3.7 which is fine. You can reset that if you want. But I find leaving it at 3.7 uh, they once it's turned off they tend to come back up and get to about 3.8 per cell anyway. Right now, we're at 4.048 on cell 2, 4.052 on cell 3, 12.14 on all three of them. First cell, and then it cycles through the cells again. There's the first cell, 4.040, etc. And it'll keep on going until we get down here. We can get down to, we want to get down to probably about 15%, but more importantly, we want this to read 3.7. Let's see what happens. We can speed that up later on. Just going to let that run. Hopefully you can see everything okay. Is it better or not? My lights are a bit too bright. 
see what happens when it gets down to about 3.8. 3.7. Okay, there goes the beeper. That means we've reached our discharge level that we want. There, cell 1, 3.70, cell 2, 3.706, cell 3, 3.707. Everything's down to about 13% it's claiming. Let's pull the plug. Get the lights off there. Okay, pull everything out. All right, now remember I said they were at 3.70-ish, uh, somewhere in there. Well, we'll plug this back in just to see what the reading is right now. And there it's 11.29 all over. Let's push cell 1, 3.76. See, it's gone back up and they will climb up again. Cell 2, 3.767, 8. So they climb back up. So if you discharge down to about 3.7, leave it set at what its default is. Uh, your batteries will be successfully discharged and uh, they, they will climb back up and stay around 3.8. Well, for a couple of the other buttons on the uh, cell meter 8, we're going to plug in the balance lead again to give power to the little meter. Oops, got to get around the right spot. Get on there. Okay, there we go. And this button here on this side says mode. If we push the mode buttons once, we get the maximum, the cell that has the maximum voltage in it. There we go. If we push it again, we get the cell with the minimum voltage in it. And if we push it one more time, we get the difference between the maximum and minimum cell. And this is a three cell battery. If it was four cell, it would do, the, do it with a four cell. Okay, so, and then we push it one more time and we're back to the overall voltage. We have one more thing to look at here on the cell meter 8, and that is right here, settings. And here's how that works. First of all, we just plug a battery in, as we did before, to the balanced uh, lead here. If we can get it in there, a little bit of a reach around the camera. There we go. Now if you push that button once, it says type, and you'll notice we push it once, it just changes the type of battery. In this case, we're going from lipo to lion. Okay, so that's that's if you push it once. If you push it and hold it, it goes into the setting menu. And the first thing that comes up is what the discharge uh, rate is. Not the rate, but the discharge, the, the, what you're going to discharge your batteries to. And as I've been saying, it is automatically set at 3.7. Now you can, um, you can change that if you want. You can go up or down. This button takes it down. This button takes it up. Okay, down, up. And, but I, I think you should leave it at 3.7. Just leave it at the default because it tends to round out your battery uh, in the end at about 3.8. Even though it takes it down to 3.7, it comes back up to very close to 3.8. So leave that one alone. If you push it again, you come to uh, the PPM rate. Ignore that totally. It has nothing to do with us at this point. Uh, you can read about that if you want, but really don't need to do anything with that. This one here just shows what the maximum, the low and the high is for the uh, servo. Uh, you know, as I was saying, it's 500 to 2500 or 1500 being right in the middle. Again, just leave it alone. It doesn't matter. As long as you know 1500's in the middle, you got her. And the last one, uh, or sorry, the next one is uh, how long the light stays on on the thing. It's set for 30 seconds now. You can either increase that or decrease it by tens. 
I'm going to leave it at 30 so that the LED light goes off after 30 seconds. And the final thing is beep. You can hear it beep every time you hit a button. You can turn that beep on and off if you want to. There it is off. There it is on. Just, and I, I don't mind the beep, so we're going to leave the beep on. And that's it. Push that again, and you're back to your normal screen again. Okay? So that's that. Okay, we're all done. Any uh, questions? Ask yourself. <laughs> no, just kidding. Go online, look something up. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. Takes off very well. Oh my god! <laughs> I got it, I got it! <laughs>